Sheriff Mike Chitwood promised patrols would be stepped up for the holiday weekend, the first since a new state law gave his department the responsibility to enforce the law beachside. So what does that mean for Volusia Beach safety? News 6's Brian Didlake takes a look. busy weekend in Daytona Beach as Memorial Day weekend kicks off the unofficial start of summer. This really comes easy to us for the most part, so uh, this is something that we prepare months ahead of time for. Deputy Chief Tammy Malfer says it's been a smooth start so far. Spend your summers on the beach, get paid, and stay fit. Volusia Beach Safety Patrol adjusting their recruitment as a national lifeguard shortage impacted their numbers. Malfer says her team is now fully staffed and will solely focus on water rescues and medical emergencies. We've been working very closely with the sheriff's office and everything's uh, running smoothly. This all comes after 17 beach officers left to join the sheriff's office, which took over law enforcement in unincorporated county areas like the beaches. The governor signing these new duties for deputies into law, making this weekend the first for deputies. In a tweet, Volusia County Sheriff's Office said they've been stopping reckless drivers and already recovered a handgun, extended magazine, and a ski mask on a traffic stop. It's all hands on deck, not only for the sheriff's office, but it's all hands on deck for the cities as well. So you're going to probably see when you're up here more cops than you've ever seen before. And Malfer says over the course of the weekend, her staff will be monitoring the water because they do expect the rip currents to worsen over time, which is why she is telling people now that they should know what to do if they get caught in one of those currents. Try to swim parallel to shore if you can, left or right. Um, but again, if you're in front of that staff lifeguard tower, they can see you caught in that rip current before you even realize you're in it. Since last Friday, Malfer says they rescued around 160 people out of the water. As the weekend continues and more travelers come to the area, she wants to remind everyone to be careful while having fun. In Daytona Beach, Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6.